Hi. In this short session, I'd like to talk about five factors that if you're an entrepreneur, you might want to consider if you're thinking about developing your business in the mid to long term with a view to sale. And you might wonder why I'm sat outside in, in these conditions, which are quite variable at the moment. There's a bit of wind and a bit of background noise. So I do apologise in advance for that and I hope that you can hear it okay. But it's really just a metaphor for my first point, which is persistence. I think as an entrepreneur, you're going to have good times, you're going to have bad times. And I think persistence is incredibly key. As we study outperforming teams and you know the success factors and the, the, the you know what what cause teams to underperform over time usually persistence is right up there amongst the uh, the key factors for teams that ultimately outperform and for an entrepreneur uh, persistence with the business is important but also um, if you're going through a potential deal process where your business is going to be acquired then persistence in the deal is also worth bearing in mind because quite often deals don't happen with the first discussions they happen after uh, many phases of negotiation perhaps spread over several years so in other words a, an acquiring company often will look at a target decide it's not for them at the time but continue the relationship and eventually a deal will ultimately be done and on countless occasions I've been involved in scenarios where that's been the case so and I, I probably if anything maybe more deals get done when there's a long-term relationship than when there isn't so that's worth bearing in mind the second point is about building an organization many entrepreneurs actually start life as entrepreneurs building a product or building a service they're not building an organization and it's a different skill set and it's one that's actually well worth developing as soon as possible uh, because that's the that's the key really a sustainable organization is going to be much more attractive uh, to a potential buyer doesn't mean buyers aren't out there that simply buy technologies buy products buy uh, some kind of uh, potential for the future but the most attractive businesses are the businesses that actually have a um, uh, a an organization that's in play <laughs> I've got a little doggy that's come here to uh, to say hello as well I don't know if you could see him on screen anyway the th the uh, third point is that and against the backdrop of building a sustainable organization as an entrepreneur um, it's very important that you're not the turnstile through which every transaction passes uh, in, in the business because many entrepreneurs tend to be the key decision maker on every, every individual scenario. And if you're the turnstile through which every transaction passes in your organization, your organization becomes much, le much less attractive to an acquirer because of course, inevitably, if a, if an, a, a, a transaction does happen, the entrepreneur often will uh, uh, realize a you know a pretty substantial uh, amount of money and as a result of that you know they may stay with the company for a period of time the company has acquired them but often motivation levels drop acquiring companies are aware of this so the more sustainable and long-term your organization is the more attractive your business is ultimately going to be. The fourth thing is keeping great books and records. Um, and I don't just mean great books and records from a financial standpoint, but also from a customer standpoint, a, an orders, a, a product history, uh, whatever it might be. In other words, having a single version of truth, of the truth in the history of your organization so people can uh, when they when they do the due diligence process the acquiring company they can start to really get under the skin of uh, what it is your business is all about and start to get comfortable with the future potential for the business based on uh, one of the or the probably much of the only tangible stuff they can go on other than secure future orders which is the past performance you know they're looking for proof points they do a mini audit through that due diligence process so the better your books and records uh, the greater to the likelihood of a transaction taking place. It's much harder for acquirers to believe information that hasn't necessarily been put together in uh, the best way. And the fifth important factor is, we've been talking about due diligence, is the actual deal process. Due diligence takes time. Uh, it's a, it's a quite, an, quite a burden on the entrepreneur and the key personnel in the business, those that are in the loop in terms of the potential for the transaction. And secondly, if the due diligence is successful, often the contract process can be quite uh, protracted as well. And I've seen many organisations that are going through a deal process, they've had a great set of results for two or three years, and the due diligence and the uh, uh, contract uh, 
negotiations and discussions, they absorb so much of management's time that the eye's taken off the ball of the business and that can be a real problem for entrepreneurs too. So that's worth bearing in mind. So there's five things I've covered today and I hope you find it helpful is persistence. Persistence not only in uh, pushing your business forward because that's the key success factor in any uh, startups above all else uh, when you do the research on outperforming teams, but persistence in the prospect of getting a deal even if one doesn't get over the line the first time you start uh, uh, discussions and negotiations with an interested party. The second is building a sustainable organisation. The third is for you as an individual to be working on the business, not the turnstile through which every transaction passes, not you working in the business day in and day out. The fourth is keeping great books and records so that any acquired company's got, acquiring company's got a real good picture on the business. And the fifth is just not getting distracted through that whole deal process. I hope you find that helpful. Hi. Considering. Hi. A mind, a mindset shift. Transactions that some kind of. Fun, uh, the, 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 hi. Hi. Does it look all right?